The newly elected president of the USCCB says he would be happy to meet with Catholic President Joe Biden and other government leaders. Well, certainly I will look forward to any occasion that I have to, to dialogue with, with political leaders in the United States. I don't see my role as primarily political, but uh, if there is any way to uh, insert the gospel into uh, all aspects of, of life in our country, I'll certainly, I certainly will not miss any occasion to do that. Archbishop Timothy Brolio told reporters that he would take advantage of any future opportunity to speak with President Biden. He noted that his predecessor had desired a meeting, but one was not possible. And joining us tonight with a report from the Baltimore Conference is EWTN News contributor Catherine Hadro. Catherine, great to see you again. Uh, it sounds like another packed day for the bishops, uh, but before we get to that, I first want to talk about yesterday's statements from Archbishop Brolio and his expressed desire to meet with President Biden. Uh, what can you report and what, uh, what else stood out to you as he spoke with reporters? Yes, well, thank you for playing that clip for our viewers, because that really stood out to me yesterday from Archbishop Brolio, the president-elect of the U.S. Bishops Conference. He spoke with reporters yesterday following the end-of-the-day events um, in, a, in a bit of a press conference, if you will, and that really stood out. I asked Archbishop Brolio, how do you plan to lead the U.S. bishops during a time that is so polarized and politically fraught? I mean, we see division both in our nation and in the U.S. church, and Archbishop Brolio said that he plans to follow Archbishop Gomez's example, and he really wants to lead by listening. But again, he also said when it comes to engaging in politics, he would welcome the opportunity to speak with President Biden. And again, he said Archbishop Gomez tried to meet with President Biden, and it just didn't happen. Yeah, and Catherine, we know uh, today's agenda uh, included a, a lively discussion on faithful citizenship, especially in the area of voting. What more can you tell us about that? That's absolutely right. And what is, I would describe as the most robust public discussion this week so far, the bishops discussed the faithful citizenship document, which is a document created by the bishops to help Catholics form their conscience ahead of voting. And so the bishops were discussing, you know, does this document need minor revisions? Does it need a major overhaul? How can we make it more accessible for Catholic Americans today? And you had some bishops who said this document, which was introduced in 2007, is no longer as relevant. So much has happened since then. It doesn't include any of Pope Francis's magisterium. It doesn't include a lot of recent big events, including the Dobbs decision. The January 6th insurrection was raised as well. Uh, but then you had Bishop Strickland, who, who made the point that the real challenge has to do with getting into the minds of Catholic Americans today to help them form and shape their conscience ahead of voting. Cardinal DiNardo made the point that this is a document that took a lot of time to create and it's never going to reflect today's news because it is a teaching document. And ultimately, after this very lively and robust discussion, the bishops ultimately voted to put forward the faithful citizen document again without revisions, but to include an introduction, a new introduction, and with the intention to make very broad revisions soon and also to have multimedia events um, available as well, multimedia, um, to make it more accessible for Catholic Americans. Catherine, we have probably 30 seconds left or so, but quickly, I want to get to this. A new pro-life chair for the conference was announced today, Bishop Michael Burbage of the Diocese of Arlington. Uh, tell us a little bit more about him. Yes, well, just briefly, he is going to replace Archbishop William Lorry of Baltimore, who was just elected the new vice president of the U.S. bishops. Michael Burbage, Bishop Burbage, has been very vocal against uh, President Biden recently. He recently denounced the president's um, call that he wants to codify a national right to abortion, if you will. So it will be interesting to see Bishop Burbage lean into this new pro-life leadership role. All right, Catherine, we're going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for your time.